right, what's good, what's good, man? Let's get into it. Uh, let's talk about Tua Tagovailoa, and not specifically Tua Tagovailoa. Let's talk about the Miami Dolphins. Wow, they're the worst organization ever. Now, obviously, uh, I'm just now getting to it, even though I spoke about it on my live stream last night. Go subscribe, Unfiltered Sports Podcast, where you have the best sports podcast with me, my co-host, uh, CEO, talking all things sports, covering the NFL, NBA, uh, baseball occasionally, uh, MMA, boxing occasionally, uh, and just goofing around, honestly. You know, you're know, you not going to hear this from first take. Uh, me and CEO don't have – we don't have to leak ourselves uh, – leak ourselves to get popular, popular like certain people on first take. We don't have to fake a memoir book and act like we're this uh, Western Salem state basketball player like some people on first take. Or we don't have to act like idiots on FS1, like on Undisputed, you know, I'm for the sports podcast. But I'm going to take it from a different direction on why it's not Tua's fault. Now, people, you know, saying Tua should retire and stuff like that. Do I think Tua should retire? No. But as you guys see in this report, uh, Tua has no plans to retire after concussion. Um, This might sound controversial, but I don't blame him. Why should he retire? All he knows is football. Now, granted, do I think he should retire? Do I want him to retire from a human standpoint? Absolutely. But you guys got to realize this, is that, when you grow up doing something, when you have a gift of something, you don't want to give it up. Prime example, and I know people are going to get butt hurt when I make this comparison, but uh, I'm not comparing Tua to Tom Brady legacy wise, talent wise. I'm not comparing these two, but there's a reason why Tom Brady held on for so long. And I have a video about Tom Brady coming out this week, ironically, but there's a reason why he held out for so long. Like he played until his 40s. LeBron James is the reason why he wants to play forever. Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers currently, as we speak. When you grow up, when you have a, when God blesses you with a gift, you want to keep going and going and going and going. Prime example, actors. You have people who are in their 70s, 80s acting. They don't need the money. They just love to act. Uh, What else? Entertainment, music. You have people making music who don't need the money. They just make music because they love making music. It's the same thing with Tua. Tua grew up playing football. He has a, he is a he is a good quarterback. I'm not going to sit here and deny that. He's a good quarterback. And I put good in, you know, quotation marks, but he's a decent quarterback. So I understand it, but I blame the Miami Dolphins for this. Why would you sign a guy who just not this last offseason, the offseason before that was talking about retirement? Why would you sign a guy who literally put the NFL at stake when you when we saw him uh his fingers crinkle up like the dude just like he stepped in a ice bath on national football and got a concussion why would you sign a guy the the Sunday before that who was literally wobbling off the field against the Bills why would you do that for what in what world why would you do that bro like the dolphins are a beyond joke fest they're they're always been a joke like don't take a team serious like these guys haven't been good since the 70s <laughs> they have not been good since the 70s yeah i had dan marino couldn't do anything there like i mean you had the wildcat for a few years couldn't do anything there you have some of the you're in miami i would think with a team that's in miami you'll be able to get you know you be able to, you know, find some talent because Miami and down south is a huge hotbed for NFL talent. Yet these bozos can't do anything. Instead, you take Tua, who's always had an injury problem, even in college. His last year in college, he was out for the whole year. I think he had a hip injury. I don't think it was a concussion, but it was a hip injury. But at the same time, you guys signed them to all that money for what? It's your fault. It's your fault, Tua. You know. You're in this big controversy because if me personally, just from a business standpoint, I'm like, this guy is injury prone. We've seen in recent years, anytime an injury prone player or quarterback wants to get paid, the year when it's a proven year for them, they always stay healthy. For some reason, they always toughen out and stay healthy. Why would I do that? You saw what the New York Giants just did with Daniel Jones. The guy's a bum. He's a scrub. And two is way better than Daniel Jones. Not, not even a question. But even Daniel Jones couldn't stay healthy, yet the Giants gave him $40 million. Why would you give a guy who might be more injury-prone than Daniel Jones? At least Daniel Jones doesn't have concussion problems. 
that I, that I can remember. I don't think Daniel Jones ever had a concussion. I know he's had a messed up neck. No, he did have a concussion one game, but not as bad as Tua. <laughs> it was not as bad as Tua. But why in the world would you sign Tua? For what? Now he doesn't plan on retiring? You do he's gonna this guy's gonna have massive CTE and all the blame's gonna come down on you, which you know, justifiably so. Why would you sign him? For what? At some like I know this is two different sports, but like it's the same thing in like UFC and boxing. You have to take the same precautionaries in the NFL. You have to sit there and look at the player and be like, listen. We're not trying to jip you out of money. Just from a human standpoint, bro, you're not – you physically cannot play this game. You mentally low-key can't play this game because this is your second concu- – this is your third concussion. You had one against the Bills. You had one against uh, the same Thursday against the Bengals. And then uh, now this one. And it was his fault too. It was Tua's fault for being an idiot. I'm sorry to say that, but it's his fault. So Miami – Whatever happens, bro, you you deserve it. You know what I'm saying? Mike McDaniels is going to get fired because he – first of all, Mike McDaniels is not even that good of a coach. I'm going to keep it real with you. He's not even that good of a coach, so he should get fired. You're going to waste Tyreek Hill's prime. Tyreek, you have a few more good years left than you. Go go somewhere else. Go to Jacksonville. At least Trevor Lawrence is not going to get injured. Uh, go to, I don't know, Tampa Bay. Seems like Baker Mayfield's cooking. Stay in Florida, you know what I'm saying? Or, hell, go uh, – hmm. no, I don't think eh. – Whatever it is, what it is. Uh, Jalen Waddle, I suggest you get up out of there too, bro. You're young. You you have a future ahead of you, bro. Get out of Miami. It's a horrible organization. So, you know, it is what it is. But that's my thoughts. What are yours? What's your thoughts on, you know, this take? And do you think Miami is just the worst organization for giving a guy who you just honestly just cannot play the game of football and honestly shouldn't be playing the game of football? This guy's going to – he's not even going to – he – I hate to say it. This dude might not be around when he's 50. He might – end up taking, you know, the road of a lot of CTE players. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. RJ out.